We're here with Jalen Ford, junior pitcher and first baseman for the JMU Dukes. Uh, Jalen, you guys are coming off a very exciting weekend at Hofstra, getting two road wins and just blistery conditions, uh, 45, 50 mile an hour gusts. Uh, you know, just talk about really what it went into that series and getting those two wins, and, and, and what, are you, what are you guys really proud of coming out of that weekend? Um, I know Coach Dean talked about uh, the way we battled um, coming back after being down a couple runs in both games. Um, I think that was important for us, important for us to go out and get um, two wins against the team that we were tied for uh, in first place. Uh, and it helped secure first place for us right now, but it doesn't mean anything because we have to continue to improve and continue to um, take care of business in the rest of our conference series. You guys didn't commit one error in those conditions. Uh, balls were flying all over and made it very difficult for your outfielders. How important was that Thursday night practice? Because it was very windy. It wasn't as windy as game day, mm -hmm. but still very windy. Uh, how you know? Talk about getting that extra practice in, and how that played over to Saturday. Um, I think it was important for us to be able to go out there and uh, in those conditions. It was a different field. It was a uh, hard uh, infield. The outfield was a little bit different. We had just communicated that with our outfielders and our infielders, and um, I mean, can't really say too much. You know, they they did their jobs, uh, making the plays when it mattered. Um, so it kind of paid off. What's working so well for this team right now? Uh, is is there anything in particular, maybe off the field relationships, uh, stuff you guys do in practice? But you know, just kind of hone in on a couple things that's really working for you guys that we're seeing the results we're seeing. Um, well, I really think we're starting to mesh as a team. Uh, we're able to communicate on and off the field really well. Um, and you can tell, especially when we get down in games, uh, it doesn't mean we're out. Uh, we're pretty good at battling back. And just having that mentality, um, I think it'll pay off uh, later in the season, hopefully. But we still have to maintain the focus where we want to jump out early against teams and not wait until the last uh, couple frames. Your pitching staff is one of the best in the country. Uh, you guys are, are, are one of the best ERA teams in the Division I. Um, you know, just talk about what's working especially well for for the pitchers this year. Um, you know, I, th I think we have a lot of variety uh, with a drop ball, velocity, movement, just, you know, the whole nine yards. It, it gives us the ability to, um, you know, if one team sits back too long on one of us, then we're able to throw something else at them. And um, I, that, that's important for making adjustments in the, in the game and being able to, you know, attack hitters. I think – as a pitching staff, um, you know, we're just doing our jobs right now. We're going out, striking people out, winning games, just trying to back up our defense and back up our offense as much as possible. Guys are back home this weekend to play UNCW. Uh, a coach that has some familiarity with this program who was here before Coach Dean was. Um, but it's conference, and Coach talked about it. You know, it's any given day. It's, it can come down to one pitch or one mm -hmm. swing. Um, I mean, how do you prepare for a team like UNCW? What have you guys been working on this week? Um, I mean, Coach Dean talked to us a little bit yesterday in practice about uh, taking the road less traveled, kind of like a, um, I think it was a Robert Frost poem. But, um, you know, we've been in this situation before, but we want to take this program to new heights. And it starts with practice this week, um, today even. And maintaining focus, even though things can get tedious in practice, doing the same thing. But um, we just have to take quality cuts when we're in practice, you know, go all out like it was a game. Um, and just th make things fun. Um, is important, but overall, um, every game really matters from here on out. What are you looking forward to most? Uh, you're an upperclassman now. This is your third year. What are you looking forward to most uh, as as we get down the the closing stretch here over the next month? Um, I just everything. You know, taking in every little moment uh, possible. You know, you only get so many uh, tries at this, so you know, trying to live in the moment and just play all out. All right, thanks, Jalen. We'll see you this weekend. Thank you.